read that for me. This is my Bible. I am, I am what, it says what it says that I am. That I, am. I believe, I believe what, it says what it says to believe. To believe. I, come I come to the Lazo, to the Lazo Pentecostal, Church, Pentecostal Church to be taught, to be taught the, word the Word of God. I will not, I will not serve the devil. Serve the devil. I, will I will not live in sin. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ died, died for my sins, for my sins. And, the and the blood of Jesus cleanses me, cleanses me from all sins. All sins. I, am I am Christ like, I am born again, I, again. I, have I have power over the devil, over the devil. in Jesus name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Bow your heads right where you are. Dear Heavenly Father, we give you glory, honor, praise, and worship. We thank you for yet another chance, another opportunity to come before you in your house. We glorify you, we magnify you, and we praise you. We thank you mainly and mostly for your son, Jesus, dying on the cross and being resurrected with all power in his hands. Lord, as we go into your word tonight, we pray that it is a word of salvation to the lost, a word of consolation to those who are going through, and a word of comfort and uplifting to those who are holding on in your hand. Lord, we give you all the glory and honor and the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Let us all say amen. 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 And amen once again. Amen. You may be seated. Again, we thank God for him allowing us to come together. Yes. Once again, yes. I do want to give honor to the founder of the ministry, yes. Pastor Albert Phelps. Yes. Thank God for him yes. being used by the Lord yes. to show us yes. that we need him. Yes. Talking about the Lord. In our lives. Amen. We also thank God for the co founder of this ministry, Senior Pastor Ethel Phelps. We thank God for her carrying on, continuing on, lifting up the banner of holiness before the world. We also thank God for the pastor of the Forsyth Pentecostal Church, Pastor Willie Wooten. Along with Sister Betty Wooten, thank God for them being in the service this evening. Amen. We also thank God for the pastor of the Fort Valley Pentecostal Church, Amen. Pastor Lizzie Dinner, Amen. along with the Sister Pastor Melvin Dinner. Thank God for them being in the service. Amen. Thank God for all the assistant pastors and their spouses, Amen. all the other ministers of the gospel. Amen. Their spouses, all the deacons, their spouses, saints, friends, visitors. Thank God for everyone being in the service. Amen. Before we go into the word tonight, I had to go to the gym that I go to in the daytime because they changed owners. And so we had to get the business side fixed. And while I was there, a lady came in, and I saw her kind of at my peripheral. Right. She went by, and about five minutes later, I was still dealing with the people about uh, getting with them. Uh -huh. And she came up to me and asked me, do you know me? <laughs> and I looked at her real hard. And I told her, you look like my third grade teacher. <laughs> and sure enough, All right. it was my third grade teacher. <laughs> I said, you look just like Joyce Thompson. 
And she said, I am her. I'm not Thompson now, but I've been married. You know, because, and it just so happened that the year that I was in the third grade was her first year of her having a class by herself. And so we talked for a few minutes and I began to thank her. Amen. Because she had an influence on me being who I am today. In fact, all of our teachers. And she said, yeah, I see you on TV. I remember you. I said, I remember you too. <laughs> and so it was good to see her. And it made me feel good. And, and, and you know, sometimes, you know, every week I give honor to the people in the ministry. But sometimes I have to thank God for those people who are on the outside. That's right. That's right. Who helped shape us That's right. That's it. to be yeah. who we are today. That's right. And I began to think and, and reflect on all of my elementary. See, like I can remember them better than I remember my high school teachers. And I believe the reason for that is because I spent the whole year with them. Whereas when you get in middle school and high school, you begin to change classes. Every quarter you got a different way. Well, we're going to quarter system back then. Every quarter you had to be changing with the new teachers. But those elementary school teachers, we stayed together the whole year. And when I was in elementary school, they disciplined you at school. There was no such thing as in school suspension. Another reason why I remember them too. Because <laughs> they would get on you. When you were wrong, they would get on you. And they had the authority. If they didn't do it, they could send you to the principal's office. And the principal could do it. You can call your mama all you want to right. back in them times. Right. And in fact, you didn't want to call your mama. Because you know if you call your mama, you're going to get another one when you get home. Right. And it's going to be worse. Right. Amen. But I, again, I thank God for my third grade teacher. And I began every so often, I, I have, it's been about 10 years, but I saw my fourth grade teacher. Her name was Miss Moore, right. Mrs. Moore, yes. and I would never forget that lady. <laughs> the first day of school, you know, all the students come in the classroom, back then we had books. Mm -hmm. You have a stack of books on your desk, you have to find your desk, sit down, and, and then when the bell rang, she introduced herself to the class. Right had her name written on the blackboard. Uh -huh. My name is Mrs. Moore. Uh -huh. Now I want to introduce you to the Board of Education. <laughs> and she pulled out this big old pout. <laughs> like they have at the frat house. <laughs> and it had Board of Education wrote on it. And that set the tone That's right. for the year. Amen. And we didn't give her any props. Right. Amen. I never will forget that. Amen. Then I went into my fifth grade year at Miss Colbert's. Right. Thank God for her. Now, Miss Colbert was a dignified lady. And she spoke proper. Now all of these teachers were black. And you she didn't have you talking like I talk today. That's right. Because I didn't 
Ik heb zit er nog in mijn koude kleding. But she talked real proper. That was, that was her way. That's right. And I never will forget her for that. And I thank her. Amen. Amen. And then when I got to sixth grade, and some of y'all know this lady, I'm finna call right now. Because she's still involved in our school system in Bill right. County. Right. Wanda West. Yeah. Oh, yes. She was my sixth grade teacher. Y'all know we with no play. <laughs> so thank God for Mrs. West. I thought I was going to mean. When I was coming up through elementary school, I said, I got to get the mean and teach <laughs> Then when I got in seventh grade, I had a male, a male teacher. He was a Caucasian man, Mr. Bill Lyles. And I want to thank God for Mr. Lyles. I'll tell y'all something that happened one day. You know, sometimes teachers have to go out in the room. And you know, a lot of times when the teachers go out in the room, that's when the children start cutting up. And so I was minding my own business. And somebody started throwing erasers, you know, from the black boat. <laughs> they just thought the one erasers hit, hitting one another. So they hit me one time, and I didn't do nothing. They, they just kept on throwing, hitting each other with the erasers, and then next time, the boom, they hit me again. And I picked the eraser up, and I cocked it back, and Mr. Lyle walked in the door. <laughs> <laughs> but he caught me with it in my hand. <laughs> so I had to go to the principal office. <laughs> and boy, that was a bad feeling. Because I didn't want. Mr. Hazelhurst, he was the principal, to call my dad. <laughs> I was already crying. I was crying. You know, you know, back then, folk get sent to the principal. In the daytime, they were children leave school. Back then, we, we, didn't, we didn't, I didn't have nowhere to go, no way. <laughs> so I didn't live close to the school, it was like where I could walk home. So I walked in the principal's office and I was crying. And the principal knew I was no troublemaker. Said, Bruno, what you did? Mr. Lyle caught me with the eraser in my hand. No question, he wanted to laugh. But he didn't do that. He didn't even call my dad. <laughs> And the way that that school was made, it was like, it's not, you know, if you ride up there by night, you know, a lot of us burnt down now, but it didn't have that front part. They added the front part on later. But it was the part where you go in and you're right there at the pencil's office. And it was a long haul. And I believe the principal would keep his door open. Whenever somebody get in trouble, and I know whenever, and they had trailers in the back. Right. Now, if you was in a trailer, you didn't hear this. But if you had a class and you was on that hall, every once in a while you hear something say, Pow! <laughs> 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 you knew then somebody would get me. <laughs> yeah, that's how it was when I was in school. They didn't play that one. And so again, I just I just wanted to take a little time out to thank all my elementary school educators. 
Because all of them had an impact on me being who I am today. Amen. Had a chance to think about that over the weekend. Right. And so I just want to thank them publicly. That's right. Amen. You know, I'm so glad I had a chance to see Miss Thompson. She told me her married name. But I can't remember that. All I remember is Miss Thompson. Mm -hmm. You know, so she went on and got her doctorate degree, wound up being a principal right. before she retired. You know, so uh, again, thank God, God again for having her right. being a part of my life. Right. Right. Now, if you have your Bible, go ahead and open them up to St. John chapter 10. Tonight we're going to look at the Good Shepherd. Amen. That's the title of the message tonight, the Good Shepherd. St. John chapter 10. Jesus is going to be speaking. Oh, yes. He begins in verse 1. He says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. Yes. So now Jesus is saying, Verily, verily, night. In the daytime, we'll say he's spitting some truth. That's right. That's right. Okay. That's right. He that entereth not by the door. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have some that's going to come and they're going to try to not come through the door. That's right. Because we're going to find out later that Jesus is the door. That's right. But those that come any other way, they're going to be a thief and a robber. That's right. Amen. Verse 2 says, But he that enters in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. So in order to be the shepherd, you got to come in the right way. Verse 3 says, To him the potter, porter, openeth. And the sheep hear his voice, and he calleth his own sheep by name, yes. and leadeth them out. Amen. Now back in this time, they had places where they kept sheep, but they had different flocks in one place. And when a certain shepherd would come in, all the sheep in that particular flock all right. With no heel. Right. Now there were other shepherds who would come in. Right. But if the, 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 the shepherd of the flock mm -hmm. did the calling, mm -hmm. only the sheep that knew him All right. followed him. All right. You know, the junior choir used to sing a song called Shepherd Song. That's right. Absolutely. And a few of the lyrics of that song say, if you say All right. that you are my sheep, mm -hmm. why aren't you following me? Yeah. That's what it said. We know many people quote 23rd Psalm. Right. They say the Lord is their shepherd. Right. But if the Lord is our shepherd, Come on, baby. we have to follow him. Yes, yeah. And only take heed to his voice. Because there are other voices out there. Yes, it is. Amen. Okay, let's read on now. Verse 4 says, And when he put his forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. Right. And a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him. For they know not the voice of strangers. Amen. I showed the Bible study class the other week a little video where there was this class of students. They went out on a farm with sheep. And each one of the students with, you know, the sheep were out grazing. Right. And all of the students would go one by one up to the fence. Right. And they would holler. Yeah. 
If any man enter in, he shall be saved. And shall go in and out and find passion. Amen. So we got to go through Jesus. Amen. Jesus is plainly stating that I'm the door. I am the one you have to go through in order for you to find pastor. And we know that pastor, that's where the sheep go to grass. Verse 10 says, The thief cometh not but before to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Right. Now quite often we associate this with the devil and it's true about him too. But there are some others that Jesus is referring to as thieves. Now, now we just read it. Go back to verse 1 you can see who the thief is. Those are those false shepherds. False preachers. So he's warning the sheep. He's warning us that there are going to be others that's going to come. And then, then, then he goes on, on, on to say that the end, verse 9, I am the door by any man and he shall be saved if I am pastor. If he come not still to kill and to destroy, I am come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. Right. Verse 11, I am the good shepherd. Yes. Yes. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. Amen. Look at what he's saying. I'm the good shepherd. I'm willing to give my life. Which he is going to do. For the sheep. A good shepherd, I'm talking about even in the natural. A good shepherd will give his life. He will fight to the death for his sheep. You remember David? Yeah. Oh yes. The other time when he encountered a lion and a bear, he was a shepherd. He was out watching his father's sheep. Amen. And he had a lion to come up. Yes, he did. He was by himself. Amen. Yes, he was. But he was determined the lion was not going to get his sheep. Had a bear to come up. By himself. He didn't have a rifle. He didn't have a gun. That's right. Amen. Amen. But the word said he went up and he smote it. That means he hit it. That's right. That's right. Amen. And he killed both of these. That's right. Yes, he did. So he was willing to give his life Amen. for his sheep. Amen. Let's read on down. Verse 12. Now here we go. Right. But he that is an hireling and not the shepherd whose own the sheep are not seeth the wolf coming and leaveth the sheep and fleeth and the wolf catcheth them and scattereth the sheep. That's right. Now the hireling is one who has been hired. They don't really care for the sheep. They care for the paycheck. There have been the ministers out there. They don't care for the sheep. But they just there for the paycheck. And if they get a larger offer from a larger congregation, those people that they have built relationships with, they will up and leave because they have a better, what they say, opportunity. With this larger congregation, where they can get more money. 
And this happened within the church. That's right. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. But that good shepherd. He, not the son. he can't be bought. That's right. He has a relationship with his sheep. He's willing to die for his sheep. So you don't want to get caught up with a hire. Because as soon as you begin to put your trust in your hireling preacher, you don't never know when that person that you got so close to, that you put so much trust and faith in, will be coming to you, well, y'all, this is gonna be my last Sunday. I thank y'all for everything you've done for me. Pray for me and I'm going to pray for you. <laughs> and he gone to that next paycheck. Same thing about all these preachers that hit, 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 a lick, hit, hit a lick there. They come to this town for a paycheck. They leave that child, they go to the next time for a paycheck. They go to the next time for a paycheck. I'm just telling you the truth. They're not a shepherd. They're And as a sheep, you don't want to get caught out there by yourself when the wolf comes. Because the wolf will get you. That's why we need a shepherd. That's right. So again, verse 12, but he that is a hireling and not the shepherd who's on the sheep and not see the wolf come and lead the sheep, sheep and flee it, and the wolf catches them and scatters the sheep. That's right. The hireling flees mm -hmm. because he is an hire. And careth not for the sheep. Amen. Again, you got a lot of preachers, they leave in their congregation. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's right. Even if the church is falling on hard times. That's right. Sometimes God will send something yes. as a test. Right. That's right. To see what the preacher is going to do. That's right. That's right. See what the so-called shepherd is going to do. Right. Is he going to stick it out? Oh, is he going to leave? That's right. Amen. Verse 14 says, I am the good shepherd and know my sheep and am known of mine. So Jesus said, I know my sheep and my sheep know me. As the Father knoweth me, even so I know the Father. And lay and I lay down my life for the sheep. Hallelujah. So he said, Hey, I will lay down. Thank you, Lord. A lot of people think they took Jesus' life when they crucified him. Hey, he was son of God. He got all got power in his hand. All you have to do is speak the word. And you live or die. That's right. But he allowed himself. He, allowed. he took it yes, he did. in order to save us yes. from our sin. Lay it down his life. Now Jesus is mainly talking to Jews, but as we're going to verse 16, he said, Other sheep I have, which are not of this fold, them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice. And there shall be one folk and one shepherd. So he let the, the Jews him know that hey, I got some other sheep. Talking about us Gentiles, man. The Samaritan talking about us. I got some other sheep. They're not of, of, of this Jewish folk. I got to bring them too. Then we're going 
gonna be one. I'm gonna bring you together. That's right. Gonna be one folk. They gonna be one ship. Amen. Amen. Verse seventeen says, "Therefore does my Father love me because I laid down my life that I might take it again." Look at what he's saying. Say, my Father love me because I'm so meek. That's right. I'm willing to lay down my life. Yes. That's right. Yes. And I'm so bad, I'm gonna take it back up again. Amen. Verse 18 says, No man taketh it from me, but I lay it down of myself. Now Jesus talking about his life. Amen. A lot of times people think they're taking stuff from you. That's right. You're not taking it from me. I'm just letting you have it. Hallelujah. For right now. See, Jesus didn't let him have his life. Let's read on that. No man taking it from me, but I lay it down of myself. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it again. That's what he said. This commandment have I received of my Father. Oh, right. So I got the power to give my life, uh -huh. and I have the power to take it back again. That's right. Amen. You ain't taking nothing from me. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, that's a bad man. Amen. A bad man saying, I'm gonna give something to you, then I'm gonna take it back. Hallelujah. Amen. Ain't nothing you can do about it. Hallelujah. Because I received the commandment from my father. Amen. Amen. Now, this got the people mad. I'm not gonna go into that tonight. <laughs> they got the got Jew mad then. Yeah, yeah. They were they ready to kill him now. Right. But it wasn't his time yet. And so again, I hope everyone got something out of the message this evening talking about the good shepherd. We have a good shepherd. If you are saying you have a good shepherd, you got to keep on following him. Keep on listening to his voice only. Give them other voices out there. Amen. Amen. But again, Jesus is the good shepherd. Amen. Yeah, we thank God for